What's up, YouTube? It's just B. I'm here to tell you about my October favorites. I know I've been doing lots of favorite videos, but I'm going to get back to doing my reviews and maybe some tutorials. So don't worry. This is my last favorites until, you know, November favorites. But anyway, let's start with my favorites. First favorite, Tresemme Flawless Curls Curl Moisturizing Conditioner. This is a really good conditioner for me. It is pretty inexpensive. At CVS or Walgreens, you can get them three for 10 sometimes. It does have cones, but it really does detangle my hair. So I've been using this to um, condition, detangle, and then I leave a little bit in and it gives me some definition. But this is a good conditioner if your hair is okay with cones. My hair is. Next favorite, White Rain. This is the White Rain conditioner naturals conditioner in tropical coconut one dollar one dollar from the dollar tree it really does detangle well it really does and it smells like coconut which to me is a plus it doesn't have cones but it has parabens so you know it's a toss-up unless something's organic everything's probably going to have something in it that may be bad for you in the long run but it's a really good inexpensive conditioner so check at your dollar tree to see if they have it next hair item and it's empty but i'm going to do a tutorial on it so i'll show you the consistency in that video it's the ojan restorative hair treatment and what you do is you slather it all over as a pre-poo and then you shampoo and detangle as normal you can also use it as a leave-in this size which is a 3.3 ounce I think it runs about $50. You can get them from QVC, Sephora, and I think maybe even Ulta. I love it. I love Ojan products. It really elongates my curl and really moisturizes my hair. I can tell the difference when I use it. So I love it, and I'll probably always use it, but I know some people don't really like it. It smells like, when you're putting it on, it smells like roasted nuts a little bit like really roasted nuts but then when you rinse it out it just leaves like this fresh smell in your hair which I really like but Ojan restorative hair treatment I will do a tutorial and show you the consistency and talk about it in detail but that's one of my favorites for October next favorite last month it was tangerine dreams this month it is banana bliss it's my Ulta shower smoothie of the month and I use this for shower gel bubble bath hand wash I use it to clean my brushes, but I don't use it for shampoo because it's not, it doesn't have enough moisture for me to use it for a shampoo. And I wouldn't recommend that natural ladies use it for a shampoo. And those are all my hair products, I think. So now I have some favorites that are makeup favorites. And I know a lot of the ladies and guys that watch me don't really like makeup, but some of you do. So for those of you who do, this is my uh, mineralized skin finish from MAC. It's in So Ceylon. I'm not going to show you the back because it's not going to focus, but it's So Ceylon. And I'll spell it out and put it in the info, in the info box bar out to the side. I use this for a pop of color, like on my cheeks, sometimes all over my face. It just gives me a glow and a lift on my cheeks. Um, the color is kind of a peachy, pinky, bronzy, metallic-y glow. It doesn't give me a lot of added color. It just gives me a lot of glow because it's really close to my complexion. And don't ask me why it's still in the box. I got this at my CCO for $19. Maybe you can get it at your CCO too. Another makeup favorite is the Stila Smudge Pot Collection. I use these right now for an eyeshadow base, but you can use them as well for like eyeliners too. Um, I use the black one with another favorite. This is Young Punk. This is from the Style Black Collection from MAC. And it's black. And I know there's a lot of videos about Young Punk. It's black with like purple fuchsia glitters in it. So what I did is I put on the smudge pot in black and then I put this over it. I wet the brush and put this over it for Halloween. And it was insane i loved it loved it um so those are two favorites young punk and the stila smudge pots 
And my last favorite, I'm sorry if I'm looking down and looking lost. Oh, it's the Equate pop-ups, baby wipes. And this is the refill pack. I have a container that I keep them in, but there's like 240 in here. And this only costs like four or five dollars at Walmart. And they work just as good. They're comparable to Huggies, natural care. But I use these, I mean, you can use a wipe for anything, but I use them to remove my makeup at the end of the night. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup every day. I do mostly my eyebrows and mascara, and then I'll have Mineral Veil and a blush or a mineralized skin finish on. So it's pretty easy to get my makeup off. But if I'm doing like an eyeshadow or something, then I'll use a makeup remover for that. But if I've done something quick and easy, those really get a lot of, not all of my mascara. It doesn't get all my mascara off, but it gets enough off for me to go to sleep and not make a mess. My last favorite, and this is going to be a huge surprise. It's the Lexi wig from the Janet collection. I got this from besthairworld.com and I wore this for Halloween and I got so many compliments on it. People didn't know it wasn't my hair straightened and colored. They thought it was my hair. It looked that natural. It's a lace front synthetic hair and it's got heat resistant fibers and I will do a video on Lexi and the other two wigs that I got from besthairworld.com just to show you um, what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to like give my hair a break and these will be used for protective styling in the winter because my head gets really really hot I can't wear them if it's warm. It has to be really cold for me to wear wigs. I had this sucker on maybe like on Tuesday, like right before Halloween, and my head was really hot. So it's going to need to be a little bit colder for me to wear a wig somewhere because I got a lot going on up here. So this is my hairstyle. Let me talk about that before I go. What I did was I shampooed and then while it was wet, I pulled it back in a low ponytail and then braided it. I let it dry and then this was the result kind of. This is like three or four days old. Each day after that I would moisturize and then put in like three or four big braids. So it's super huge and I put it back in the ponytail to stretch it out and get some of the curls out and I'll probably do that a lot. But that's it for now. So I should be doing some videos on Ojan. I'll be doing videos on the rest of the curl creams and leave-ins that I have. I'll do those reviews. I may do a video on blushes that I use, different makeup that I use, some brushes that I use. So I'm going to get back in the swing of things. And everybody who subscribed to me, thank you so much for subscribing. I tried to go to your page, but maybe YouTube wasn't okay and it wouldn't let me leave comments. But I tried to thank everybody. And if I couldn't thank you, I want to thank you now for subscribing and watching and commenting. So thank you and I'll see you next time.